And now, 63 Questions with renowned glass artist, Preston Singletary. Hello there. Hi. Welcome to my studio. Thank you. Come on in. Wow, so much eye candy. How long have you been here? I've been here 15 years. And what's your favorite weather for making glass art? I usually work from the fall until the spring of next year when it's a little bit cooler. If you didn't live in Seattle, where would you live? There's other places to live. <laughs> Were you a rebellious teen? I was. And did you have a favorite teacher? My favorite teacher was Pete Wilson, who was my jazz instructor in high school. Name a musician you'd like to have a beer with. That would have to be Jimi Hendrix. Mm. How many times a day do you check your phone? Uh, probably too much. Do you prefer silence or white noise when you sleep? Silence. Do you use fancy hair products? Yes, I do. <laughs> What's something you do to stay healthy? I do Pilates and I lift weights. Would you rather go to an art show or see live music? Uh, live music. And what's the name of your band? Kuik. What does that mean? It means potlatch in the Clinket language. What do you love about playing in front of an audience? I love working with musicians and improvising and the energy between the band members and I like the, uh, the exchange with the audience. Do your kids enjoy your music? Uh, they told me that they like one song that I've written. <laughs> Do you have ants in your kitchen? I got ants in my pants I need to dance. <laughs> what was your first concert? It was Blue Oyster Cult. And what was the last album you listened to start to finish? Joan as Policewoman. Do you have a turntable? I do. Do you sing in the car? No, I don't sing in the car. Are you surprisingly bad at anything? Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's several things, but I don't like to think about it. <laughs> do you have any tattoos? I do. I have a couple of tattoos, but they... that's a long story. Okay. Do you doodle? I do. Uh, these are some sketches for pieces that I want to make in the fall. And what languages do you speak? I speak English and I speak Swedish. And what is your favorite museum in the world? In the world? Well, I was recently at the uh, Natural History Museum in New York City. That was pretty cool. And if you could gain one ability, what would you choose? Uh, probably be wood carving. What two words best describe your art? Contemporary and culture. And what Clinket symbol really speaks to you? Well, there's this mask right here that actually has my mother's hair on it. Wow. And that's one of my favorite pieces. Wow. At what age did you hit your stride? It was probably around age 27. Mm -hmm. And what self-imposed rule have you broken? Um, many of them. <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, how organized are you? I like to say I'm about a 9.5. And what's your astrological sign? I am a Leo. What smell reminds you of your childhood? Uh, beeswax and burning cherry wood. Ooh. Do you like your name? Uh, actually, I had to grow into my name. Uh-huh. What is a favorite holiday movie? Scrooged. Do you go to Starbucks? Not very often. Do you like roller coasters? I like old roller coasters, but the ones that kind of like go crazy in 100 miles an hour, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not into that. Are you a sports fan? I am a baseball fan. And who's your team? It's the Mariners. <laughs> Do you play Frisbee? I used to play a lot of Frisbee when I was a kid. What is it about glass that captivates you? I think it was the uh, ability to work with my hands. That's something that was, uh, came natural for me, I guess. And glass art is so physical. What body part takes the biggest beating? I think it's my shoulders. Mm -hmm. How hot does your furnace get? Well, right now it's at room temperature, but this is the furnace that usually is at about 2,300 degrees. Wow. That's where the hot glass is. Have you ever tried to roast a marshmallow in there? No, but we do sometimes make coffee on the steel table with hot <laughs> bits of glass. 
these tools in here look so sculptural. Which one is your favorite? Well, this is the main tool that every glassblower uses. These are called jacks. These are one of the main shaping tools and uh, you can constrict with them and they're very practical. Does the work give you an adrenaline rush? Usually. And have you ever had a major glass disaster? I burned myself last fall. Mm. Is it hard to let go of your completed work? No, I say easy come, easy go. Oh. And as an artist, what are you most proud of? I like it when I can get my work back into the home community. And what do you like better, acupuncture or massage? Massage. And spiders or snakes? I'd have to go with spiders. Uh, crunchy or creamy? Crunchy, please. <laughs> Camping or glamping? Definitely glamping. Order or chaos? Uh, somewhere in between. Jimmy Kimmel or Jimmy Fallon? Mm, Jimmy Fallon. A Prius or a pickup? Actually, I prefer my Vespa. Oh, and when it comes to technology, are you an early adopter or late to the game? I'm an early adopter. What's one of the most meaningful compliments you ever received? Well, that was when I received a name from my mentor, which signified growth as an artist and as an individual. Mm. Do you have a motto? I like to say, work hard and be nice to people. Well, I can't argue with that. It's so great to meet you, Preston. Thanks it's for having us. Good to meet you. Us. Thanks for coming by. We'll see you later. More about Preston is on his website and see his work in person at Traver Gallery in Seattle, Washington, Shaints Galleries in Stockbridge, Massachusetts, Blue Rain Gallery in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and at the Smithsonian's Museum of the American Indian now through January 29, 2023. Catch Art Zone Friday nights at 8 and anytime online at seattlechannel.org slash artzone. <laughs>